And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Dragons. This is going to be a pretty cool donation deck. We're going back to another mid-range dragon deck, and we got two of them on the docket today. We also have an Invoke Aurelian Soul Leona deck. Those are two donation decks, so these Ds mean. Um, this one is going to be a Demacia mid-range deck with a... Uh, Targon Dragon Top End. And so we're going to be playing Garen in here. Um, basically, we're playing Garen instead of Shivana in this deck. Uh, going with Grizzled Ranger kind of in the Shivana slot as well, and then just playing some Garen because Garen is really, really strong. And of course, if we can strike twice with Garen, we get it leveled up. So we get to attack every turn, which of course, dragons, they want to attack uh, because they're so big, they're very good at attacking. So that's kind of our plan here to help Garen level up. We have other cards like Concerted Strike and single combat um, that can do some other kind of striking for us. A good amount of spells in here. Pill Cascade, Sharp Sight, awesome spells. Um, and Repost, another awesome spell. So we do actually, so we do have uh, 25 15s. 15's a little on the high end for spells, but three of those spells, Dragon's Clutches, can draw us some, some dragons if we need. So if we were too spell heavy, we got a draw two for three mana. And of course our dragons, uh, Screeching Dragon being like our, our best one to have kind of early. So that and Garen kind of fight on the same spot there at five mana, but they're both really strong. Then we have an Enviolus Vox that can create some more dragons for us. So again, if we're a little spell heavy, we get some more dragons. Obviously, Eclipse Dragon can kind of do the same. And then an Infinite Mind Splitter and an Aurelian Soul at the top end. Infinite Mind Splitter isn't as good in this metagame as it was whenever Lee Sin was a lot more popular. There's a lot more Shadow Isles around right now because of go hard and so vengeance and uh, ruination are very popular and uh infinite mind splitter doesn't really match up well against vengeance doesn't really match up real really that well against the aggro either but against the those uh vengeance decks that's why we have things like enviolus fox and eclipse dragon that um continue the dragon uh drawing for us i suppose all right so let's give this a try garen dragons we're gonna go play five games in ranked um, so yeah, then we'll have the Aurelian Soul Leona as well, and then Funsmith Burn is going to be... See? There we go. Talk about Shadow Isles. Funsmith Burn is going to be the uh, one in between the two Dragon's decks. Okay, we're going to Mulligan Eclipse Dragon. And I think I may just keep all of this. Yeah, let's just keep both, let's just keep both of these. Um, good chance that we're just playing this is just two mana, three, two. They can match up and, and uh, trade with Elise. We don't have to do that immediately, though. Like, I'm not going to just play it right here. It'd be more of a defensive tool to play Bright Steel Protector. So basically, just holding on to these. If we don't need to use them, we don't have to. Okay, got our two dragons. All right, so uh, I am. There was I did have a donation deck from a user named Phi Thirteen, with thirteen being in Roman numerals, and that donation deck, the deck code that was sent to me isn't uh, doesn't work. It, um, so the deck code is incorrect. So if that's you, uh, please send me a message, um, or hopefully I see you here on Twitch. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, yeah, send me a message because I would I would like to have the update the regular deck list to help you out. Okay, so they're going to be attacking with these. We'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and play a Bright Steel Protector on defense. Yep, there's Go Hard. Go along with Powder Keg. That's alright. Alright, planning on passing here. They just got a fleeting card from the Pool Shark. So this card right here is fleeting. I hope it's a removal spell that they cannot cast because I don't play anything. And then we'll save, we'll bank our three spell mana to protect Garen with Sharp Sight, Single Combat, stuff like that. Wait, was that card just... Okay, no, it was Vengeance, okay. That's a good one for me to see. Foot 
Justice for Demacia. We don't have any Nexus healing in here, right? Correct? No, so yeah, no no Radiant Guardian, so no no other Nexus healing. So being behind like this could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, you know, Nexus health-wise. With Gohard representing a bunch of Nexus damage. Never lost a fair game. Played one. Eyes open. So they want to go Protege next turn instead of Inviolus Vox. So they can have I can have more mana for these spells. And now the thing is, do we play Bright Steel Protector to use proactively on the Protege, or have mana for Repost as well? Because you know I'm definitely going to keep up single combat and sharp sight. Don't think a Ruination is that likely. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Two out of eight. Aha. Protect and strike. Clear. I'd rather my three two trade with our two two than, you know, a pack your bags. That is their second vengeance that we've seen leave their hand. Okay, and there's a, ru a ruination gone. So two vengeance and one ruination gone. Okay, yeah, let's... So we have Eclipse Dragon or Garen. Let's go ahead and go with Garen. My heart and sword for Demacia. Eclipse Dragon can be better later, where Garen, not as good later. We want to get this Garen down, get it leveled up. We're gonna try to keep them from drawing two cards. Hmm, that's too bad. Win. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpent. We're gonna have a bunch of challengers. That's the third go hard. Does make me think that they don't just have pack your bags, because otherwise they would target the Eclipse Dragon. Or they do. Why would you why would you ever target the protege? You kind of see why Mind Splitter isn't as good because it's it's kind of like what do we what do we really Mind Splitter like some two twos? I have to block. I mean, they're just gonna keep on pressuring my life total. Do we have to block? It's just am I using a repost to? I guess a repost gives me a seven three. Yeah, it's that's worth it. A seven, you know, a seven three fury or an eight three, an eight three fury dragon. I want to draw a card from the Pale Cascade. So we have the Scourge next turn. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. 
Yuppie! I talk to spirits! This is my role! This fades at four. I thought we had 15 spells in here. Now they're crumble. Well, that's two vengeance, two crumble, and a ruination all gone. That hurts pretty bad that we didn't get to kill this Twisted Fate. That hurts really bad. Looks like we're just going to get drained out. So we're just one game in, just one game in, but Grizzled Ranger, not my favorite. Looks like we're, looks like just having some Nexus healing would be pretty nice. A game. Go on then, watch the mm. ball, folks. They're just gonna get burned out. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. But Grizzled Ranger against, like in this go, you know, like tons of people playing Go Hard these days. Grizzled Ranger looks pretty bad against Go Hard, so I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if this card is good enough to be played right now. Just go, go hards and pool sharks. Gotta go with the flow. Uh, but they did play. I mean, they they played a ton of cards that uh, that killed big things. You know, they you know, two vengeance, ruination, two crumble. It's a lot of those cards. Yep, and then that's lethal with the spray fin. Okay, so we're making a couple of small changes in here. Uh, we got the person who donated for the deck in here. And so we're, we're making a, a couple of small changes mid uh, video. We're taking out the Infinite Mind Splitter, putting in another Involius Vox instead. Because uh, I guess the Dragon's Clutch, we want to have less dragons because we want to draw Screeching Dragon more often. So that's uh, so we're going to do that. And then instead of Grizzled Ranger because of how bad it looked, we're going to try Laurent Blade Keeper in the four mana slot. Um, playing that instead of like White Flame Protector again because um, want to play less dra less types of dragons uh, to try to draw a Screeching Dragon with that. So, all right, so let's give this a try. Okay, so Fiora Ash. Let's try keeping our Fiora, our Screeching Dragon, removal spell. You know, like we're basically going to be playing the same game here. I long for a worthy opponent. Always two steps ahead. Adam, what's up? Thanks for that resub. My shield is yours. Four awesome months. Thank you so much. The boom. Sorry, I haven't been around a few weeks. New job, career started this month, but still been here, lurking. Thank you so much. Hope hope that's all going well. The new job and career and everything. And thanks for keeping that sub going. Our third sub of the day already today. This will be quick. I never. Oh God. Brittle steel. So what I'm concerned about is brittle steel. Couldn't really stop them from going brittle steel next turn anyway. Man, they had it.
Okay. Got your back. Winter, take you. The halls are bomb. You played it. And anything else? I like being able to attack with the Blade Keeper. Obviously, the Fiora could kill the Blade Keeper. I'll protect the villages. No closer. I like getting these things out. That's like easier things for the Fiora to kill. That could be a pretty great card. We'll have to see. Let's get rid of this Heimerdinger. We will level up Garen and also give the Screeching Dragon a Fury. This is going to be a pretty big dragon. Now we get the attack token on both turns. So looking pretty good. The Blade Keeper kind of did its job though, right? Like they frost bit my Screeching Dragon, and then we Blade Keeper buffed it up. Got a hit in. Kind of did its job. Another day guarding the walls. My shield is yours. Whoa. Lucky sevens. <laughs> seven mana, seven, seven. Seven mana, seven, seven. Seven mana. Still seven mana. Lucky number sevens. Yeah, the Blade Keeper's working here with all the challengers, so it works. Well, if I didn't play the Eclipse Dragon, I could have had Garen's Judgment available. So they should have a, a level 2 champion in their hand out of one of these two, right? So I can double spell, I can go like Garen and Blade Keeper. Like, that's a good option. Or Protege plus a 7 drop. Or plus Garen. That's a good option, or Aurelian Soul. Let's go Aurelian Soul. <laughs> nah, I'd rather have zero mana exile two things than zero mana living legends. The top. 
target. Uh, they're going down to three. You may command the stars, but I force them. They should still have one more. Uh, one more level two champion out of these. Here's a living legends. I do love an audience. I walk the space between worlds. My axe is ready. Okay. Noxus will rise. Fair enough. Now they'll pay attention. Who does not know the name Laurent? Faster than my arrow? I think not. No, I think so. I think I think Ash was the thing that just created with the Howling Abyss. I think I think that was that. No, well, maybe not. Maybe it's that card. Two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, GGs. One and one. Oh, that's right. They can't create a Nash because they have one in their deck. Yeah, good Name. call. All right, more Demacia Targon. Okay, our hand looks pretty decent. Yeah, looks just fine. Keep it. I don't see anything to be too mad at. I'm, again, not planning on doing anything turn one or turn two. Just save the spell mana. So three, are we going Fiora or Protégé? Might as well go Fiora. Basically the thing is, I'm playing the other one the next turn and we'll have Repost for the other one. So I'm attack for three though. So not like the even if this just happens, it's not like the worst trade for them because they get the random elite in hand. We don't know how elite that card will end up being. So I could play Protege, but now that we use that mana, I'm going to go ahead and pass. And now I have mana to go along with Garen. I don't know. They have this Vanguard Sergeant. Maybe I should just Bright Steel Protector. And then challenge. I just want to get this Garen down right away and get this thing leveled up. I'm gonna play the Garen. <laughs> RV's behind me being a dog. Oh. Yeah, I, I think Lee Sin's nerf was a good one. I think that's that's a good change that they had with that. I think that was a good a good call. All right, so this is me being a little greedy. This isn't like the best single combat whenever they have targets like Leona. Eh, I don't really care about Leona, but they have Lux and Robin. Like Robin's a great card to single combat. Lux is a great card to single combat. Um, but I am getting the Garen leveled up immediately, so that turn six, again, this next turn, we will have the attack token. What's up, Screeching Dragon? Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. You're covered. Ours is the one true light. And yeah, I, I kind of, I agree, Jack. He was more just adjusted than nerfed. It's a good way to put it. No mess for heretics. 
sorry. No, I'm not playing around Hush. I think Garen's the most important thing that I have on the board, and so hopefully they don't kill Garen. Okay, so next turn we're looking at seven mana plus the extra three to protege or to have Dragon's Clutch for the plus one plus one. Probably the Dragon's Clutch. For the plus one plus one. Hush is kind of impossible to play around. For the glory of Demacia. That's too bad. Missed the Protect and strike. Missed the allegiance. Don't back down. We'll be able to draw a couple dragons with our dragon's clutch. Oh man, so many proges. They unfortunately have the removal for my Garen. My most important card. Cool, take both of these. These will help refill our hand. Aren't these supposed to be like 6 7 and. They're an out-of-the-way deck, that's cool. Doesn't that card give, like, all your dragon allies plus one plus one? Break their spirits and their souls. Now we're gonna play the Garen. Alright, well, I'm not going to attack Garen into Leona anyway. For justice, for Demacia. With them being an out of the way deck, so that, that means that they got to be playing a good amount of buffs if they're an out of the way deck and, you know, just like a Pale Cascade eats my Garen. Uh, Radiant Guardian. Yuck. All right, I like that it's a spell. We got plenty of units. Okay, gotta kill these Robins, they're so good. Giving everything Daybreak. It's much better than Leona. It's the important card. Plus three, plus three. All right, so sharp side doesn't save it. Strike for justice. Strike and grace. So while I can play the Scourge, all the Scourge does is just get stunned. That doesn't give me the biggest incentive to play the Scourge. This is pretty messy.
I think that's my best plan is like, you know, try to kill Try to kill the Robin. Probably play the Scourge. Next turn. Try to go immediately to combat. You know, challenge challenge their Radiant Guardian first, because they can only go to 20. And then hit with other stuff. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Glorious light rains down. I guess they'll, they'll have the ability to play stuff first. So I guess they'll be able to stun my Scourge first. But playing the Scourge, you know, it's... Probably better than playing in Viola's Fox. I don't really know why they're wasting Daybreak cards right now. Well, you know, obviously they gotta have another one at the beginning of this next turn. That also works. GG's. This matchup again? I haven't played against like this many Demacia decks in like a week. <laughs> We're just playing against them all today. That's crazy. Okay, so let's not waste single combat early on a 3-3 this time. Of course, we're not going to really have that opportunity. I need a dragon for the Dragon Guard Lieutenant. We don't really need Fiora and Protégé. Let's let's just mulligan in the Protégé. Yeah, I like Demacia. I think, but I I just haven't really played against very much Demacia recently. But today that is not the case. I can't pass and then and they pass. A chill in the air. So I could sharp side and, and force the action, but I'll just Faster than my arrow? Uh, sit I back. Another day guarding the walls. Show me a target. Honor guide me. I don't really like the line that I just took. <laughs> That's probably not a great sign. Why have we never sparked, Fiora? The outcome was obvious. Do you think they're playing Repost? Probably not. And if they are, I have a backup Garen, I guess. to you the first time. Salute. Strength increase. 
beauty in the pain. Wow, taking it and going to five. It's a little surprising. Right now, that bird does not have challenger. So right now, technically, we can block these three. Strike quickly, strike all down. My steel is yours. I'll stop you. Fear is the first of many foes. So judgment is enticing, but then I go judgment, they go harsh winds. I'm just gonna let it go. Let's see what they do. Okay, we out judgmented them. Two and two. So yeah, went, went for Judgment, the Judgment. Um, single combat first, we could have done that, but I didn't expect them to have the three mana Flash Freeze, because I think if they would have had it, they would have played it the turn before on the Garen, and they didn't. Yeah, they would have kept their Ash alive. Okay, same matchup from earlier. All three of these cards are good in this matchup, but it's very slow hand. I guess I'm gonna look in the Vox. Yuck. When we played against it last time, we were thinking that Aurelian Soul would have been a good card to have. Usually I wouldn't keep Aurelian Soul. And I am currently regretting keeping the Aurelian Soul. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Hmm. Yep. Currently regret keeping Aurelian Soul. At least we have something to play this turn. Unfortunately, like if we had the 4-4 dragon, we could maybe draw the 4-4 dragon. So are we going Garen or Screeching Dragon? Garen regenerates. Where do you stand on shots? But Screeching Dragon we can use as removal. Play Garen, like they just don't block it. I think it's gotta be Screeching Dragon. Jess with the tier one sub. Thank you, Jess. Y'all get some hype in the chat for Jess. Just always watching over on YouTube, leaving a bunch of comments. I always appreciate that. Thank you, Jess. Okay, so we kind of we helped stop the bleeding a little bit. little bit. My heart and soul for Demacia. For Demacia. Don't know much, do you? Okay, seven mana. Now. Break their spirits and their swords. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. 
This is this is just incorrect. This is this is honestly a, a poor challenge. Spray fin should be challenged by one of the two fours. Screeching dragon should just challenge a two two because because dragon's the easiest thing for them to kill and if they do they get to save their spray fin which is the card the the one card that I don't want them to save. Hoping our opponent, you know, like we played against this matchup before, our opponent drained us out. We're hoping our opponent this time is unable to drain us out. Deal me in. It's a good red card. Okay, use a sharp sight and keep a protege alive. Something for all. Of you. I'm gonna hold on to sharp sight though. Maybe this is back because I don't have any challengers left, as far as killing Twisted Fate is concerned. Keep up, keep up. Third one of those. Stay resolute. Yeah, they're just not attacking into Sharp Side, they're just playing around Sharp Side completely. So I was thinking I didn't want to pack your bags to kill the Garen, so I was thinking with that. That's probably a bad move. I've got your back. Come, stay a while. You got legs. Use them. Well, they have pack your bags that does five damage to all my stuff. You can't do this. This is most likely uh, the sacrifice draw two. I two of those. Oh man! So twisted fates leveled up now. If they leveled up, it's pretty rough. So leveled up Twisted Fate's probably going to be able to kill us. That'd be my guess. I'd be pretty surprised if we get this one. They should have a whole bunch of, you know, like they don't have very many cards left, and they're drawing tons of tons of cards. Yeah, this is soak it in. It's all but over. We just don't seem to have enough fight spells, do we?
Yeah, we have two. Yeah, we have three single combat, two concerted strikes. So that's only five removal spells in the whole deck. Recently, with these Demacia decks, I've been playing three. You know, all all nine. I've been very happy with having all nine, like the three concerted, three strafing, and three single combat. Because you just can't. You, we just have to kill Twisted Fate all the time. Why did I just use this? And this thing's gonna die anyway. Why did I just do that? I don't know. I don't know why I pill cascade that thing that's gonna die anyway. I was very impressed with the sharp sight in this deck. I really liked it. Um, so it's gonna get stunned. Uh, we don't know that for sure Gohard is getting nerfed. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because it's, it's, you know, it's dominating the metagame right now and, and it costs one mana. <laughs> it does a whole lot for one, it does so much for one mana, it's pretty silly. I'm I'm kind of surprised that they have it though, like in Shadow Isles. So Shadow Isles already having Vile Feast and as well as Unspeakable Horror. It kind of seemed unnecessary to print. And there we go. It's lethal. So this deck was made, the person that donated for this deck did make this deck before the Go Hard meta. And uh, we looked, our deck looked pretty rough in, in those matchups. Um, yeah, Gar yeah, honestly, it, it just did. Like, Garen wasn't really able to strike because of, um, you know, like the Glimpse, you know, they, I think both opponents played three Glimpse Beyonds, or maybe, maybe the first one only played two. First one played at least two. This one played all three. Uh, but yeah, Twisted Fate leveled up both times, and uh, you know, with with all these Glimpse Beyonds, Twisted Fates, this you know, like I loved I loved the uh, Sharp Side against Sprayfin. I think that that was really good. That was something that I didn't I didn't have in my build, and I missed I missed having that card. I played Pale Cascades, but honestly, the Sharp Sights looked better than Pale Cascade. Uh, the plus two health being very important, and the being able to block Elusive very important with these Spray Fins. Um, so yeah, this, this deck just wasn't for the go hard meta and then the person that did only for that, uh, um, mentions that. And so this is, this is, you know, like I played Fiora Dragons just a few days ago. This one I did build specifically for the go hard meta, but I think that, I think I, I wasn't sure with, with, uh, Pale Cascade and Sharp Sight. I went with Pale Cascade. I think I would rather go Sharp Sight with this deck moving forward. This one, you know, like I'm... As you can tell, like I'm playing Chain Vest <laughs> specifically for uh, Go Hard, and then yeah, we got we got all the fight spells: single combat, strafing strike, concerted strike. Got to be able to kill those Twisted Fates, keep them from drawing with Glimpse Beyond. Um, I like the sharp sides. So then you know the Radiant Guardians, because because all they do is just drain you out with with Go Hards and with like the the three two that drains for two with Nightfall, and so get Radiant Guardian with all the fight spells. And then, you know, it's got the, the top end of millions of dragons within Violas Vox, especially with all the fight spells. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Would I keep Priestess over, over Laurent Protégé? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Protégé, I, I, like I like the Priestess for, for, like, the other matchups. Like, the Priestess is for the, the other control decks. Um, help help give you some invoke cards and uh, you know kind of helps the eclipse dragon also with the invoke cards. It's like you know sometimes you get the the cards that like you can only play if you behold and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I was, I was happy with the priestess. I think I'll keep that over 
over protege but protege is good too especially with like playing chain vest that makes protege even better so I, I could see changing this i could see changing this to protege i'm i'm on the fence of that kind of like i was on the fence of pill cascade sharp sight i'm on the fence there also of priestess protege i like them both just like i like both of these i think from from last time whenever we we're playing i i noticed how like not being able to block spray fin was was difficult and then this time when we we're playing having the sharp sights being able to block spray fin i liked that quite a bit I would want to change that. I'm on the fence with, with Priestess and uh, Protégé. Could, yeah, could play the one Aurelian Soul, but yeah, maybe it is too slow. Like we saw even like with that game, it, whenever we played this deck last time, our five games were like all hour and a half games because we just we never ran out of stuff. Like in Violus Vox means you just never run out of stuff. And so it, I, we probably just don't need... like. You know, it's probably just unnecessary to have an Aurelian Soul. Because uh, we just we just never ran out of cards. And then, of course, Egghead Researcher was in here also, making more dragons. Um, so, yeah, we had... So this version, I just never ran out of dragons. With those. Alright, so that's... Uh, that's Garen Dragons. And just kind of some... Uh, Update with the Fiora Dragons. Um, there we go. So, uh, yeah, this one was built built before Go Hard Meta, and we saw that with the the struggle there, but still looked uh, pretty good. And, and Garen got to do some cool stuff besides that. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Garen Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.